Hi, it's Jazz. Um, so today I am going to be making puff pastry. Um, starting with just regular pie dough, which is a pie dough that I made myself. Um, it's really easy. It takes essentially one more step than making regular pie crust. You need a few things. Obviously a clean surface. Some pie dough. This is a double crust. Uh, butter or margarine, uh, about six, six tablespoons, and a rolling pin and a, something to scrape dough with a spoon, and obviously flour for rolling. So I'm just going to push those over there. As far as the size that you want to roll this, this is going to depend a little bit on how big of a space you have, but ideally, um, if you can get it somewhere up and towards two feet across, like width, width-wise I mean, uh, and width is going to be 60 centimeters or even like a foot and a half width and then across or away from you uh, ideally somewhere between 16 to 18 inches or about 45 centimeters and we're basically going to roll out a big gigantic rectangle of dough then like we're putting filling we're just going to put some butter in it and we're going to roll it up like a cinnamon roll and then we're going to roll it over a few more times and it's actually really simple so you want to put some flour down not too much I have done this and it actually uh, makes it difficult because the butter will not stick to the dough so just the right amount basically just enough to keep it from sticking so this is a uh, an all shortening pastry that I made and if you use shortening it's going to be a lot easier to roll it out um, that's why they typically use shortening. So, we're just going to start rolling. I just want to remind you guys that you need to be checking as you're rolling to make sure that uh, the dough is not sticking to the surface. The time is the same. Our old days. You can just add a little bit more flour here and there. But like I said, don't add too much. Uh, it's it's going to make it easier to put the, the butter on or the margarine on. Or if you want to try coconut oil, that might work. I haven't tried it, but I'm planning on it. And also, you can just sort of uh, lift it up a little bit, slip your hand under. Reminds me of you. Oh, didn't I order? Waiter, please make mine blues. Got the blues so bad I could cry. Got the blues. I have your margarine or fat room temperature not melted, but soft enough that you could rub it, like if you were going to easily uh, butter some toast. Because essentially we're just going to be buttering a gigantic surface is really the easiest way to look at it. The louder the better to drown out the crowd. Oh, here is my order. Waiter, please make my blues. Twenty inches across and how about sixteen there? So I'm gonna roll it just a tiny bit bigger. But really, like even if it's this big and you don't, you can't roll it any bigger. Like it's it's fine. You're still gonna get puff pastry. I mean, I, you know, before I, before I forget, I'm going to mention it right now. If your kitchen is really hot, you need to move quickly and start with cold stuff. Because, it, you know, like anything that you're rolling out, it gets more difficult uh, when it's too warm. That said, you also don't want it too cold. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have six tablespoons of butter or margarine in total. I'm going to take about four tablespoons of that and I'm going to spread it all over this part 
And then we're going to save the other two for something else in just a minute. So just, like I said, but uh, just use your fingers. It doesn't look glamorous, but it's like really the easiest way to do it. I basically uh, spread butter evenly all around it and now we're going to roll it up. If you ever made cinnamon rolls, basically the same idea and I'll just mention it one more time. You really want to have this all even across. Try and roll it tight, but not like excessively tight. I'm going to uh, flatten it out a bit. You can use a rolling pin. And then we're going to put butter on top of it. And we're going to fold it over a few more times. And then just chill it. And then roll it out again, just as you would any other pie crust. And you're ready to go in your puff pastry. Take another tablespoon of butter and just the same thing. You're just uh, putting some suntan lotion or cream on the snake here. And like that. So you really don't need that much. You want to fold it over about one third. Well, oh, okay, we've committed, so we're not going to be able to do that. Okay, and then on the other side. And now I'm going to do again the same thing. You actually, if you cut it in half right now, you're going to have fine puff pastry, but I mean if you want it even better and if it's still workable. I'm not going to roll over three times because it's too, it's too pudgy now, but I'm going to be gentle. Sometimes I'm not that gentle when I try. Just basically a little bit more. You don't even need to really roll it on both sides, just uh, halfway is fine. Putting everything together. And then basically you're gonna just cut this guy in half. And what you have is two pounds of puff pastry or one pound each, or basically a top and a bottom to a pie. And I hope you have fun in the kitchen. Thanks a lot for watching.